U.S. Marine Corps officers. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing United States Marine Corps officers. This video is going to focus on their MOS selection and how a Marine officer gets put into a specific field. There are many opportunities and career fields for anyone to serve in if they want to join the Marines as an officer. We're going to show you the different areas and MOSs you can serve in as a Marine officer, as well as explain the process of how to get into them. If you're interested in serving as a Marine officer, or if you're just an avid viewer of General Discharge and want to learn more about the military, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. There's a lot behind the various career fields of Marine officers. With that said, this video serves to be an introduction and very basic breakdown of it all, but we're sure you'll learn a lot regardless. We'll leave you with resources for you to go check out at the end of the video if you want to look more into any of the Marine officer career fields that exist out there. And if you are a Marine officer in any of these fields, please speak up in the comments section if anyone wants to learn more about what you do. And lastly, there's the warrant officer side of the house in the Marine officer community, but we won't be covering them in this video just commissioned officers. Before we get into the different types of Marine officers out there, we need to quickly go over how one becomes a Marine officer. Chances are, you'll go through Marine OCS, which stands for Officer Candidate School. That's where most Marine officers receive their commission. Then there's NROTC and the Naval Academy, which both give Marines their commission if they complete those programs. We've gone over the process of becoming a Marine officer in detail on this channel, and we will point you to those videos at the end of this video. After you become a second lieutenant, you'll find yourself at TBS, which stands for the basic school. At TBS, Marine officers go to the basic officer course, which teaches them the basics of how to be an officer of Marines. It doesn't matter if you want to be an infantry officer, a pilot, or a JAG officer. Every Marine officer will have to go through TBS. The MOS selection process happens at TBS. What can you select from, you ask? As a fresh new second lieutenant, there's a whole slew of career fields you can find yourself in once you finish TBS. There's infantry officers, cyberspace officers, aviators, logistics officers, intelligence officers, and many more. So many, actually, that we're just going to pop them all on the screen for you right now. Pause the screen to give them a longer look. If you took the time to look at all those career fields, you'd be wise to assume that they have different requirements, and you'd be right. Judge advocates, which are lawyers, require a law degree, whereas an infantry officer will just need a bachelor's degree in any area of study. There's also other requirements, such as PFT standards, but we'll get into that later. Now we're finally at the meat and potatoes of the video, the MOS selection process. Let's get into it. At TBS, second lieutenants will put in dream sheets of the different available fields that they qualify for. If they're lucky, they'll get selected in one of the career fields they put on their dream sheet. The only exception here is that aviation and law officers know where they're going, as it is a contract they signed before they got to OCS. Everyone else is fair game. So now you're probably wondering, how does this MOS selection process work? Let's get into it. Each year, the Marine Corps identifies all the logistics around what is available for assignment across the MOS career fields available to the officers. The MOSs are split into three groups, Combat Arms, Information and Aviation, and Combat Service Support. Certain career fields aren't available to reserve officers, but we won't go into that. After a bunch of fun number crunching and admin stuff, TBS gets what they can assign to the second lieutenants from the Marine Corps. After those quotas are established, all decisions on MOS assignment are made with consideration of student suitability, unique or additional considerations, and student preferences. Notice how student preferences was last? Welcome to the military. Now here's something pretty cool. The Marine Corps recognizes the fact that people may be uniquely qualified for certain positions. If we pretend for a moment that JAG officers aren't contracted before OCS, if a second lieutenant had a law degree, the Marine Corps would probably place them in JAG if they wanted to go that route. It gets much more advanced though, and we're about to show you. We're going to play a game here. We're going to give you three scenarios that the Marine Corps painted for you to understand how someone might get special consideration. Here's the first one. Pause the screen to take a longer look. Do you think the Marine Corps considers them uniquely qualified for an intelligence MOS? Yes, actually they do. Here's the next one. 
How about this one? Nope, they are not considered uniquely qualified for a field artillery officer. You'd think that them being a mortarman would, but that's not the case. Now on to the last one. Yep, they're qualified to be a financial management officer. We hope this paints a better picture for you as to how you'll be stacked up to your colleagues if you find yourself in TBS. Keep that in mind. Play to your strengths and experience. The Marine Corps does put them into consideration. Okay, so we told you that the Marine Corps puts the officer's preferences on the back burner of how they choose everyone, but you'll be happy to hear that nearly 95% of Marines get something in their top five choices. After going through PFT scores, CFT scores, academic grades, leadership grades, and whatever the specific MOS requires them to submit, with everything going on in the world, you gotta take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. Get out there and get things done. Never miss the chance to shoot your shot. Designed by your boy, Tommy T. Links in the description. Now back to the video. The Marine Corps does its thing and the Marine officers will receive their MOS assignment in week 21. Here's a picture of the MOS selection schedule for your viewing pleasure. So, you just learned a lot about what Marine officers go through to get selected into an MOS at the end of their initial training. What are your key takeaways here? If you're an aspiring Marine officer, or an enlisted Marine who wants to commission, your fate is in your performance and in the Marine Corps' hands. Train up and get a high PFT score, study hard, and aim to be as best of a leader as you can during the training process. If you're interested in certain fields, try to get a degree in that area, but just keep in mind that almost nothing is a guarantee. We're burning through time at this point, and we haven't even begun to discuss what the different MOS career fields can do. Don't fret, we want to know if you want to see a video on us discussing the different Marine Officer MOSs, as well as their requirements. If you want to see that, comment Officer MOS video in the comment section below, and we will get to it. Before we wrap things up, we're going to leave you with some valuable resources. We've done videos on Marine OCS, as well as the basic school, so if you want a more in-depth look at how Marine Officers are made, you definitely have to check those videos out. We've also done videos on other communities in the Marine Corps too. The playlist will be in the description below. Lastly, we'll leave you the link to the Marine Officer MOS Assignment Handbook. If you want to comb through that, you'll have a lot of questions answered. Well, that is the down and dirty of US Marine Officer MOS selection. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.